hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine open world tutorial series so in this series this is what i'm going to do so now as i have done in previous episode i can this uh, we have implemented this procedural crop field system and we can always place these crops or these trees so foliages or whatever you want to place as instance to static meshes uh, inside automatically placed inside these boundaries and then we added this manual editing for each individual instance with this uh, blueprint utility widget now you can select individual widgets individual instances of this crop field like this and do various modifications as you see fit and yeah we did this part also in the last episode and but it was not persistent so when i finish editing those changes are fed back uh, committed to this procedural system and they are persistent to show that let me reload this level again now as you can see those changes are persistent you can see the changed measures like this and that's the part i am going to cover today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so last time we worked on this we improved this uh, procedural crop field system to use the same functions such as this uh, start editing tool like this so when I press start editing after selecting this procedural crop field then I can move individual objects like this and when I finish editing well you can see the changes here but uh, they do not persist so I can show an example let me load the level again now as you can see those changes are gone they are not persistent so that's the issue I am going to address today just like the procedural object so in the procedural object I have created this if simulate is false then uh, I have spawned sorry I have uh, loaded the instances the edited instances using this instance transforms so that's what I am going to do so to do that let me open the advanced foliage spawner blueprint now yeah this is the function and I said last time we, we are gonna we're gonna have to do some this is procedural object so right so this is place static instances and I have override overriding that function here and so as I said we're gonna have to do some modifications to the order of things that we are doing so the first thing would be this so here I place meshes for each procedural element type like this so the way I do is this first I detect min and max boundaries using them I'm going to do for example I take this first element first uh, point here and then next one and place 
all types of measures there and then this one and place all types of measures there so like that that's the way I am doing it so instead of doing it like that I should do it in another way if I am to use this instance transform variable alright so this is where I store transform data of the meshes of mesh instances after editing and manually modifying individual instances using this procedural editor blueprint utility editor utility blueprint we worked on this editor utility blueprint in a previous episode if you are not if you don't remember you can refer to that okay so let's do some modifications here like this so we should add this instance only if this simulate is true that means like this let's add a branch and if the simulate is true we should add the um, instance all right so now this part is only for the simulated placing so let's take another path like this uh, because uh, because the reason to do it like that is so then I don't have to do much of a change to this existing code otherwise I'm gonna have to do a lot of changes there so let's make it a sub node I'll name this part simulated mesh placement let's add a comment as well so when I zoom it out zoom this part out the comment will be visible like this so let's add a sequence here then I'll add another part like this let me collapse it I'll call oh what happened collapse to now collapse nodes okay this is um what should I call it non simulated mesh placement may not be the best name but I'll use it let's split this so another branch here we should do this only if this simulate is false so if the simulate is false for each of these instance transform I need to add element mesh uh, not element mesh this, this HISM instance so I don't think I have to initialize it here because I have initialized them here in yeah. 
so get an in reference from the HISM and add instance in word space the word transfer like this okay something went wrong what went wrong Shall we reload the project map? In this part is executed. Let's see. Oh, ah, right. This is the problem. I should connect this to the false part, not true part. Okay. Now, as you can see, when I modify this, the meshes are not changing, and also these things you can see this is the manually modified location so I can do it again if I want okay see I can modify them one by one and finish editing right now I'll reload the map to see if the changes are persistent. Yeah, they are persistent. Okay, so all right. So that's what I wanted to cover today. And I'll do the source code really soon. So if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.